All right, we're going to do some problems here on 691. We're going to start with number 11. These are going to be the finding the segment lengths within circles. you got to pay attention whether these segments are inside the circle or outside the circle. So this first one here that I'm going to do, number 11, these are segments that are meeting outside the circle. And the basic formula is this segment and this segment, if you multiply certain parts, they're going to uh, equal each other. It's essentially the whole part times the outside, the whole part times the outside. So what exactly does that mean? I like to use colors here to help emphasize this. So this line here, the whole line here in red, times just the outside portion in red. And then that will equal this whole line here in green times just the outside portion. And that's the basic setup. So the whole line here in red is 20 plus 11, that's 31, times just the outside portion in red, which is 11. And that will equal the whole portion here in green. This is 13, and that's what we're trying to figure out, the variable C. So that's 13 plus C. Don't say multiply by C. It's just 13 plus this C. Again, don't say 13C like you're multiplying. Let me zoom in, I'm sorry. And then the outside portion in green is 13. Okay? Multiply this, you're going to need a calculator. That's 341. And then do the distributive property here. Um, this is 169 plus 13C minus the 169 over. And then divide by 13. And you're going to get an ugly number here. But this should be the answer for C. This should be 13.23. Okay? Whole part times the outside is equal to whole part times the outside. And pay attention to the fact that variables here, it's 13 plus C. All right, I'm going to do number 14 as well. And here is 14. Um, we have the circle, we have an outside segments, we have an inside segment. We're going to solve for X first and then use that value for X to have solve for Y. Now what I did here with number 14 is I separated the part that I need to just solve for x. Okay, I got rid of this one line. I don't want the extra distractions. This is an outside portion. So again, whole times the outside, whole times the outside. Okay, let me zoom in here. So I'm going to go red times the outside red, and then go green times the outside green. Okay, so the whole red is 5 plus x plus 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. So this is like x plus 12. That's the whole line here in red. The outside portion is just the 7. The whole line here in green is 11. The outside portion is also 11. That happens to be a tangent line. So both the entire line and the green, the outside portion is 11. And then if you just multiply this, do your distributed property, 7 times the front, 7 times the back here. This is 7x plus 84. 11 times 11 is 121 minus the 84 over. That's 37. X will end up being divided by 7, about 5 point. I'm rounding to 2, 9. Okay? 5.29. 5, 5.29 and 7. Now that 5.29, you're going to need to help solve for Y here. Notice Y is inside the circle. And you're going to need this line here and this segment here. This is where x is, and so I'm going to use this number here, 5.29, that we collected from solving for x here. Now I got rid of this outside lines because I didn't want uh, any other distractions. These are inside with inside. So I would simply say green times green is equal to red times red. Red times red. Okay, when you have segments inside, you just say green times green is equal to red, 5 times red, 5.29. Okay. And then you would solve this one here. This is a 9y, this is a 26.45 divided by 9. y is approximately 2.94. Notice I solved one to help solve the other, I kind of eliminated all the other distractions when I did number 14. Okay, and we're going to do number 15 here. This is a little word problem. It says geology. I'm reading from the book. This natural arc in Arches National Park, Utah, is the arc of a circle. So it's just this arc here of a circle. Um, 
but of course you don't see the circle but you got to realize that this is just the top portion of a circle uh, the other part of the circle would be underneath the ground you know, uh, that's an ugly circle but nevertheless that's the circle number 15 says find the diameter of the circle they give you also some measurement from here to here the highest point in the arch to the ground is 30 feet and then they say all the way across is 170 they also have tick marks here it's a little hard to see in the book but it's 170 feet left to right so 170 divided by 2 is 85 on both sides here it's 85 and 85 this is just an arc of a circle they want to figure out the diameter the diameter of the circle goes through the center well that's an ugly center here so we're going to figure out this line in its entirety so if I kind of redraw this picture here it's kind of like this this is 85 85 this is 30 and then here to here will be X and so when we do this we'll just say green times green is equal to red times red and then we will solve for X and then we will figure out the diameter so this is green times green red 85 times red 85 that's your basic setup 85 times 85 is 7225 divide by 30 you get 240.8 240.8 so this is 240.8 but they want to know the diameter diameter is all the way to the edge not just here to here all the way to one edge of the circle to the other edge so we're going to add the 30 there and so the diameter is going to equal 270.8 feet for number 15.